Hi there, I'm Brennan Sauer, Lithium Product Manager at Discover Battery. Today we've got two of Discover Battery's Lithium AES systems, uh, each 42, 48, 6, 650s. Now these are the Schneider Zambus variants, but uh, you don't need to use closed loop link communications. The lithium batteries can be used as lead acid replacements without communications. So commonly, if there's no need for communications between batteries and electronics, you'll just connect your system right to the terminals here and you do, you do not need to worry about the COM ports. You will notice that there's two COM ports in each battery. So there are two individual networks running on each battery. One is AE bus and that's battery to battery networking. Uh, so they're all aware of each other, they're coordinating what's going on. And then COM2 is an external connection. Now in a network, you only need one battery speaking to that external component. COM2 in this case is Zanbus, and you'd use that to connect to Schneider Electric's uh, power electronics. So when you go to connect your batteries together uh, with AE bus, you're gonna need some ethernet cable, some Y adapters, and terminators. So let's walk through that process. Today we've got two batteries. Each battery is shipped with two Y adapters. You're going to go ahead and open up COM1 in each battery. And once again, COM1 is AE bus. Plug in your Y adapters. You can go and connect the Ethernet cable between the two. And we're going to want to terminate our network. So with your Schneider equipment, you should have a few extra terminators laying around. One at either end of the network. So you want to make sure that you've terminated your network on either end of the string. If you don't terminate, there's a really good chance that the batteries aren't going to be able to communicate to each other, so it is necessary. So if, if someone goes ahead and installs the network and they don't terminate and the batteries aren't communicating, the system won't shut down. You're just not going to get that added benefit of a coordinated system. So if there's no termination, effectively the batteries are acting in lead acid replacement mode. So now that we have our AE bus networked up, we're going to go ahead and finish the ZAN bus connection. So in a network of batteries, you only need to add one battery to the ZAN bus network. You're going to open up COM2, and you should have more Y adapters. Take one, put it into COM2. You're going to take your ZAN bus cable, coming from the inverters, charge controllers, or wherever you're tapping in. Plug it into the adapter and make sure you terminate this network. If you don't terminate, uh, likely the batteries will not communicate to the system. If you do terminate, you're going to see the batteries show up on the system control panel as a bat monitor.